Hey guys, it's Haley here. Today we're gonna talk about building in Planet 2. Alrighty, first up, don't let piece by piece intimidate you. It's actually quite simple. Don't let those of us that have hours upon hours upon hours doing this in Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo intimidate you with all of the work that we've done because we too have gone through trial and error. Okay, first up, let's start. Building basics. Every building on the planet has a basic shape. Why am I... Oh, I'm searching for post. Great. We're going to start with some walls. Um, sure, we'll, we'll go with these. We're going to keep it basic. Notice when I place it on the interior of that line, I get that corner piece, which is amazing, because in Planet Coaster, you would have to do it all by hand. But if I place it on the outside, I don't get it. I'm gonna click on this, and I'm gonna hit right click. Right click to delete. I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate, but I'm gonna put it here. So we have a nice, nice little square. Okay, cool. So, that's awesome. What's next? Let's find some other random material and shove it together and see what we get. What's this? Plaster. I'm gonna start a brand new building. What did I say? Plaster? Okay, that is weird. I didn't even click on the building and it selected it when I typed in plaster. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this a rectangle. So now I have one building and two buildings. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So I'm gonna hit X to get this gizmo. And X again to get this gizmo. And we're gonna just like put it together and see what we get. So maybe this would go like this. Right through that corner. And looking at this, I know we could probably fit something in here, like a drink shop. I'm going to hit letter R to get into this. So I'm going to put this here to remind me we could put something there. We can also probably... What is this? Dry stone? Put something else there. So let's do it real quick. How about staff facilities? So I'm hold down shift and it's gonna let me move my mouse up or down, away from you, towards you. Cool. Now, chief beef. Let, let's put chief beef in this one. Aha! Mexcelente! I like tacos. There! So now, we've got two buildings in one. You know, maybe we could pretend that this space is like storage and food prep, right? Let's roof it! Now this is where it gets complicated because I'm gonna have two roofs they are gonna have to, uh, make friends. Now, since we're using two buildings here, we have to make sure that we click two buildings. So notice, the one roof does not match. So the solution to this may be to increase the size of this roof. 
So then it will have two different pitches, two different heights of pitches, which will be problem solved. And if you get stuck on the vertical axis, just hit your shift key and it will snap out of it. I'm hitting the letter Z key to rotate, and that's Z for zebra. So the only thing that we don't have is this end piece here. So either our roof has it. Oh, what about what about this guy? Does this? It does not. Okay, so, oops. If I hit Control Z, I get my pieces back. So in this case, since this is plaster, let's go find ourselves some plaster. Z to rotate, shift, and move your mouse. Perfect. Ta-da! I mean, we did this in 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes. Yes, sure, we probably have to account for the fact that I've done this before millions of times. But just take two pieces, slap them together. Two shapes, slap them together. What trim do we have? Do we have any... Do we have any copper trim? Yes, we do. So click on this building, make sure you have this grid, and then this this trim. And if it gets stuck on that vertical axis, just tap your shift key. I hit the letter Z, rotated it. So on this side, I would probably just take that. Which is interesting because isn't this a one? Maybe it's not, maybe it's actually two. Yeah, it's two. Wow. Fool me once, although I don't mind. I kind of... That little flare. But if it doesn't add anything to it, don't don't use it. Okay, we now have a facility that has a, a guest service. So, Mexilente and a staff room in one building. And our current runtime is what? Just over 10 minutes. 10 minutes, 3 seconds, 7 seconds, 8 seconds, 10, 10. Throw some signs on it. Throw some lights on it. Although, I forget, in this game, you gotta have it powered, so... <laughs> now we can put lights on. Now I'm just kind of letting them snap in place. I'll show you how to move them. So this probably should go near the door. So I clicked on it and I hit the letter X. I'm going to click on it again. I'm going to hit Control X. This side probably needs a little bit more light, but one thing that we could do is if we have pathway approaching it, maybe we will have light like so near it. But what we could really, really, really use is, oops, a very large Mexicante sign. Does this light up? It does light up. Check that out. 
This also lights up. There's not a, an awning. Hmm. What would we call... Did I spell awning wrong? It's gotta be... We have to have an awning. That's like... Yeah, okay. Like we don't necessarily need the Mexicante awning. But, yeah, you know, we could always start adding stuff like this. Kind of dress it up a bit. Hi, ma'am. Thanks, uh, thanks for hanging out. And we could lower this and pull it forward. And maybe tilt it. It's like... Pizzazz, you know? It's it's fairly plain. But it's a start, yeah. It'll get you going. And with practice, you'll learn the art of just throwing clutter everywhere because that's what makes things look like it's used and lived in. If you've ever played The Sims, you know all about the clutter. I'm actually going to open this up and delete that. <laughs> well then. <laughs> uh, last but not least, if we're very happy with this and we're, we're good to go and maybe we want to use it in other parts of our park or share it with others, if you tap your letter I key, you get the multi-select tool. If you drag a box around it, you select everything here. Because remember, this is one building and then this is another building. It says two total objects because this lamp is with this building. I'm going to hit this blueprint. I'm going to add a new blueprint. I'm going to take a picture from here. Name it, Staff and Vendor Building. Pick a tag. I mean, technically, technically it's a food shop. It could be a drink shop. It could be a shell. And it could be other. So now that I've done that, I'm going to find it down here in Blueprints. And specifically, if I go to My Blueprints, I'm going to see it. And here it is. If I want to share this on the workshop, I simply click this guy. And I tell it. Do you ever have one of those moments where you just can't quite, like, plane, right? Done. And now it's going to be uploaded and it's going to be on Steam. And you just shared your work with the whole world. One last but not least thing to do, change your vis visibility if you want to share it to public. Alrighty, guys, if, my name is Azili. Thank you so much for watching. Happy building, and good luck out there.